you see a lot of different opportunities per day doesn't mean that all of those opportunities are high quality trading setups. I've been trading the markets for 16 years, right? And I came to the conclusion that the market is not designed to... Today, we're going to talk about why I actually take one trade a day. And also, we're going to go over some charts later on, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean, okay? So I've been trading the markets for 16 years, right? And I came to the conclusion that the market is not designed to give you high quality setups or a lot of high quality setups per day. Now, it will give you, you know, trade opportunities, a lot of them per day, but we're talking about the high quality setups. And I realized just by looking over my notes, right? The high quality trades that I take, those are the ones that are growing my trading account, okay? It's not really the low quality trades or the trades in between. Those honestly are really draining my account. I, I'm probably making a lot of mistakes with those trades, maybe revenge trading, maybe, you know, forcing trades with the low quality trades, right? But I realized that my high quality setups are the ones that's growing my trading account. So I might as well just stick to those high quality setups. And again, the market is not designed to give you a lot of high quality setups per day. I mean, if that was the case, basically trading would be easy and everybody would be trading and, you know, everybody be quitting a job to go to trade. Right. But it's not. OK, you really have to wait for that high quality setup to show up. And some days it might not show up. OK, so you have to understand that now the market might give you, you know, multiple opportunities a day. OK, now, just because you see a lot of different opportunities per day doesn't mean that all of those opportunities are high quality trading setups. OK, so you have to understand the difference just because it's a trading opportunity doesn't mean it's a high quality opportunity. And the way I like to trade the market is if I'm going to put on risk, right, if I'm going to risk my hard earned money and I take a loss, I want to be OK with that loser because, you know, I know for a fact that, OK, that was a loser. But if I keep taking these high quality setups, then eventually my trading account will grow. That's the name of the game. So that helps me not to worry about losers. OK, because if I have a losing trade and I look at that trade and I know that that trade is a high quality trade, guess what? I'm going to say, you know what? It is what it is. If I see that trading set up a million times, I'm going to take that trade a million times because I know it's a high quality trade. That's going to help you. Number one, stay in the game. And number two, it will help you gain confidence because, you know, that's how you can actually become a profitable trader. Now, when I actually trade, you know, it doesn't mean I'm only taking one trade a day. OK, some days I might take two trades, but for the most part, I'm looking for at least one high quality setup a day and I'm attacking. OK, now for the most part, you know, I'm only taking one trade, but sometimes I might take two trades. OK, now if I'm looking at multiple markets, I could definitely take more than one trade, you know, because I'm looking at multiple markets. Now, let's say I'm looking at four markets, right? And out of those four markets, maybe three markets is giving me a very clear picture and I take three trades. Now, it's one trade per market. So let's say, you know, that day we had three clear trades from three markets. Guess what? That's three trades. So that will give me more opportunities. But right now, usually I'm only trading in NASDAQ. OK, so that's one market. So usually that's why I'm only having one trade a day. So that's the only reason why I'm taking one trade a day, because I'm trading one market. But if I'm looking at multiple markets, yes, I can definitely trade more than one time a day. But the whole idea is to let you understand that the market is not designed to give you a whole bunch of different trades a day. And also, it's best to wait for that high quality setup and be OK with only taking one or two trades a day, because that's the best way to go if you really want to grow your account. So when I'm trading, I'm being very picky and I only want to take the high quality trades. Now, from my experience, I have realized that most traders can't really take a whole bunch of different trades a day. OK, now there are traders out here that have a lot of skills and they can actually take 10, 20, 30 trades a day. But I'm telling you right now that is not the norm. OK, these guys are elite. Usually from my experience, usually, OK, the average trader or any trader in general, they can't really handle taking 20 to 30 or 40 trades a day. Trust me on this one, because I see a lot of students of mine and, you know, I deal with a lot of traders every single day. And I understand that most traders can't handle that. OK, this is why I tell them to go to the five minute chart, because once they go on a one minute chart, I see that they will over trade and take so many trades. And I say, listen, relax, just go to the five minute chart. The five minute chart most likely is going to give you at least one to two high quality setups per day. So let's go to the chart to show you guys some examples. All right. So right here, this is the Nasdaq. OK, 
and this is the five minute chart okay now right here uh we had news i believe right here at 8 30 and pretty much the market was ranging okay so i'm looking at the market and um we dropped out of the range okay but i'm noticing that we didn't really go that far so we created this nice double bottom right here and also we created this nice uh bullish bar right here so i actually went long okay and this was a nice uh you know scalping opportunity right here okay and i was done for the day now could I say to myself, okay, I took a nice trade. Should I look for another trade? And yes, that's a possibility. But at the same time, do I really want to drain my mental capital if I just had a nice winning trade? Sometimes, you know, it's not worth it, you know, because the next trade might be a loser. So it might drain not only my mental capital, but, you know, my trading capital. But anyway, we have another opportunity right here, okay? Because resistance turned into support and you probably could have went long right here. But again, if that first trade is a nice, high quality setup okay and it worked to the point where you know i didn't have no drawdown you know i didn't I, it wasn't a loser right and went straight to my tp why should i continue to just trade a whole bunch of different times and i know that the market is not designed to give me a whole bunch of high quality setups okay so the name of the game for me is i realize you know every single market if i'm trading one market that first trading setup that first high quality trading setup if i take that setup and it's a winner the next trade that I see, even if it's a, you know, decent setup, honestly, it might not work because the first opportunity is always the best opportunity. Let me say that again. The first opportunity is usually the best opportunity because once the market start moving, you know, it can pull back on you or it can, you know, reverse. So the first opportunity, in my opinion, is always the best opportunity. Now, once you get right here, um, the market dropped um, and, you know, went down. I didn't trade at all. Again, all right, it's okay if you don't trade. We're looking for high quality setups. It is what it is. So let me show you guys some more examples. Okay, so right here, this day, um, overall, it was ranging. And, you know, we had the high right here. We had the low right here. And I took a short right here. Um, at first, I didn't want to take a short um, because the market looked like it was trying to, you know, go up some more. Sometimes I really don't want to be the first person that's short in the market. So I, I really want to see a little bit more confirmation. And I did. We had this uh, double test right here, double rejection. So I went short and this was a loser right here. Okay, so went short right here when I saw the second rejection, right? And this was a loser. Now, it is what it is. You can't win every single time. You know, you just have to expect that. But it gave me another opportunity. I got stopped out and I went short again right here. And this was uh, a nice short to the downside because if you look to the left, okay? Number one, we have uh, support right here. So you have to understand that the market could bounce around the support area. And plus we have this nice demand too. So, you know, this area right here, you have to understand that it's a strong possibility that the market could bounce. Now, here's a day where I decided to take two trades because guess what? The first trade was to me a nice high quality setup because we have, well, the market is ranging and we have multiple rejections at that level. And then the market came to this nice demand level. Plus, if you look to the left, we have support. So everything, you know, is lining up. So to me, those are two high quality setups. OK, and the market is ranging. So we I know for a fact that, you know, the market's not going straight up in a straight line. You know, at the highs is selling off and at the lows, buyers are coming in. So to me, I don't mind taking this trade right here. So I went long right here. OK, just looking for a quick scalp and I was done. OK. So you have to understand when it's good to actually trade multiple times. Me personally, a lot of times the first trade I'm done for the day, but sometimes if that second trade is a very high quality setup, I would definitely take it too. So let me show you guys some more examples. Here's another day, guys. You know, the market going straight down. It is what it is. Um, you know, just starting to get around lunchtime, really choppy. You know, I'm not going to trade that. So let me show you guys another example. Okay, so this is FOMC day. We have supply right here. Notice how we have multiple rejections right here, guys. So um, I'm looking for that multiple rejection and then notice, notice we have a nice bearish bar right here. So I went short, okay? Now, since this day was a FOMC day, okay? I only went for a quick one-to-one -one because sometimes the FOMC day, you know, get really choppy. So I really want to hold for, you know, more than, you know, a one-to-one. -one. So that was it. So one trade and I was done. Let me show you guys some more examples. All right, so here's uh, a trade right here. The market is downtrending. So I'm looking to take a short, right, to the downside. So um, I'm looking. Notice that we have uh, this supply right here, but I'm not really looking to take it right away because we've been trading for a long time. So I'm noticing that it went basically to this high right here. It fell and, um, you know, we have a nice little trend line break too. So I'm taking this right here to the downside and I'm looking for a quick scalp, right? Um, the market pretty much made a, a, a strong move already. So you, honestly, you can't really look for... A, a big move but at the same time you know 
this was a nice trade and I was done. So let me show you guys more examples. All right, so here's another example, guys. So we have supply again. The market came to the supply. I went short and I got stopped out. So this was a loser right here, guys, all right? I got stopped out. Honestly, if you look to the left, we did have support right here. Maybe that's my fault. Maybe I should've got out, um, but it is what it is. I got stopped out and that was a loser, just what it is. And after that, I didn't go long or anything like that. That was just that trade for the day. It is what it is. I'll wait for the next day. So let me show you guys some more examples. All right, so here's another example, guys. So right here, we have the market pretty much holding that support level, popped up, created a nice demand level right here, okay? And basically notice how the market created this nice uh, double bottom right here, nice bullish bar. I went long, okay? and targeting the highs, okay? And this was a nice, nice trade. Um, honestly, I didn't think, <laughs> when I got in this trade, you know, it shot straight up and I'm like, wow, you know, it just worked right away. So this was a nice trade. Now, um, can I say, all right, since, you know, I got my TP, can I trade again? Yeah, you, you probably could trade again, you know? I mean, resistance can turn into support right here, okay? And you probably could look for more opportunities. But again, if I got a nice high quality trade, all right? And it worked and, you know, I mean, really no drawdown, no loser, and it went straight to my TP. Do I really want to risk another trade to the point where, you know, it could stop me out and I can lose half of my money or, you know what I'm saying? So that's my thought process, okay? So that nice high quality trade, to me, that was it. I'm done for the day. So let me show you guys some more examples. All right, here, here's another example, guys. Um, this was yesterday. Basically, we broke this level right here, right? And it came back to test this level right here. Okay, so nice bearish bar right here. Now, this day, I didn't make any money because honestly, this was a break even, man. It, it was annoying because, you know, I really wanted a nice two to one out of this move. But, um, you know, it came back and, you know, I went short when I saw that nice bear, bearish bar right here. But guess what? You know, we have a triple bottom. We have one, two, three. I'm like, ah, it came back to my break even. So I got out. Okay, it is what it is. And guess what? Came back and then shot right back down. It is what it is, you know? So let me show you guys some more examples. All right, so this is today. Um, I didn't trade today at all. Uh, we had a nice supply. We had a nice bearish bar. I didn't get in. I really wanted a, a nice double test on this one because I wasn't too sure. Um, you know, we had a nice strong move to that supply. So I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if the bulls is trying to, you know, continue to go, you know, back up. So I wanted to see a little bit more confirmation, but you know, it went without me and that was it. So I didn't trade at all today. And you know, that is a good example of just waiting for a high quality setup and you didn't see it, guess what? Tomorrow's a new day. So guys, that is what I'm doing every single day. So that's why I'm saying I'm only taking one trade a day. And guess what? If I'm looking at multiple markets, I might take more than one trade a day. So if I'm looking at five markets, guess what? I, out of those five, maybe I see two high quality setups or, or three high quality setups. So it doesn't mean I'm only gonna take one trade a day. It just means that for the most part, the market's gonna give you one or two high quality setups per market, okay? So if I'm looking at, you know, five markets, maybe out of those five markets, you know, I'm taking one trade per market and, you know, I'm getting those trades. So I'm here to tell you guys, in my opinion, this is the best way to trade because number one, you're being very picky with your trades, right? You're not taking anything. You're waiting for a high quality setup. And once you take that setup, boom, you're done for the day because you're not trying to, you know, over trade or take, you know, so many trades to the point where you, you made money in the morning. Now you gave back your money because you want to over trade. So that's what I'm doing. I believe this will work for a lot of you guys. Try it out and see how it works for you. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to check out my trading program below in the description, I actually have a special going on. So check that out. If you want to take your trading to the next level, if you have any questions, comment below because I try to answer all your guys' questions. Thanks a lot for your time and please have a great day.